How you doing guys? Zane's Heavy Boxing Dosage here, back with another video. And in this video I like to give you my prediction for this, this upcoming fight. I'm really looking forward to it. Made it official yesterday night. It's Demetrius Bubu Andrade versus uh, David the Monster Benavidez. You know, it's a good fight, you know. You know, both men trying to prove themselves they're at the upper echelon, super elite, super middleweights. You get me? I'm gassed. Gassed. This is a good fight, man. And it's a fight where both men have something to prove. And the loser of this fight, I don't know where they go, you know? Because they're both undefeated. And someone's O has got to go. The undefeated record has got to go. It's got to be blemished. You know, and who's gonna take who's O? That's the interesting question. So let's get into it. Let's get into it, guys. You know, um, so obviously, Demetrius Andrade is a very good boxer, pure boxer. You know, sticks to fundamentals, the sweet science, to hit and not get hit. That's what Demetrius Andrade is all about. You know, unfortunately, he's had a inactive career so far you know when he was younger he was the real deal you know and as time has gone on you've seen certain performances and you think to yourself is he really at that stage where he's at the elite level now you know there were fights in the past that he was meant to take against Jamel Charlo excuse me the Charlo brothers you know, but for some reason, them fights didn't take place. And, you know, he hasn't really been active, man. I'm not going to lie. You know, who he faced as well is questionable. But in the amateurs, he had a really successful amateur career. Beat the likes of Keith Thurman, Sean Porter in his amateur career. You know, he was very successful. And he's a really good boxer, man. And to be honest, he's got good footwork. You know, not to say that you can underestimate Demetrius Andrade because you can underestimate him at your peril but potentially he's a really good fighter and he can cause really really good problems for any sort of fighter man you know he's got you gotta learn to sort of drag Demetrius Andrade in a dog fight you know because if you let him play the way box the way he does you know um, he's gonna run run circles around you he's got good footwork and he's got a good one too a good sharp jab and that's gonna be pivotal you know Demetrius Andrade is a really good fighter in my opinion you know I personally think he wasted his best years you know against um, inactivity and things like that which has really hampered his career and which is really unfortunate because he's one of them fighters that could have been at the elite level for a very long time but you know it's 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 sad to see but he's got this opportunity now against um obviously david benavides he looks really good david benavides he's undefeated he's a monster he's got that punch and power you know but i do see flaws in this game that can be exploited you know um what i mean by that apart from the power what he's got is, he's got like, really slow feet, you know, um, these are typical things with Mexican fighters, but um, he squares himself up a bit, and I remember him getting dropped by a, a, a puncher, non-puncher, you know, um, obviously it was a flash knockdown, you know, anyone can have a flash knockdown, he wasn't hurt, you know, but he can be caught, but the thing is with Demetrius Andrade, for him, in order to beat in order for him to beat um, David Benavides, he's got to fight the perfect fight. And he can't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with David Benavides because that falls in his game plan. David Benavides likes to have his opponent stand in front of him so he can trade and he can lay off his power and combinations. And that's what makes him a dangerous fighter at all times. You get what I'm saying? I like David Benavides, I think he's a really powerful puncher, really good combinations, um, 
Someone with good footwork will definitely give him problems. And I think Demetrius Andrade has that potential to give him problems. But it comes down to whether he can fight the perfect fight for the whole 12 rounds. And I don't think he can do it, man. Because I think his inactivity is going to let him down. And I feel that David Benavides, even though he's going to struggle a bit in this fight, he's going to eventually catch up to Demetrius Andrade. And he's going to stop him, I believe. You know, uh, so my final prediction, you know, it could go any other way, you know, it depends what Demetrius Andrade has left in the tank and whether he can show up on the night, you know, but I'm going to go with David Benavidez to win this fight by late, late knockout, round 7 to 12 or points, you know, but I'm going for the late knockout, round 7 to 12. So my final prediction, I'm going to go with David Benavidez win this fight by knockout let me know your thoughts as always make sure you like comment and subscribe and share the video as it goes a long way to helping out the channel and um, i'll see you on the next one guys let me know your thoughts do you think demetrius andrade has got a chance let me know guys and i'll see you on the next one the same heavy boxing dosage i'm out